hello boys and girls welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to show you my uptime logger i made for humans and bots and stuff uptime logger so how does this work is like uh, it's in discord js version 13 and it has two features the uptime logger like it will simply log when a bot or user goes offline or comes online and vice versa so how about the staff system like there are two commands staff online and staff offline when someone runs staff runs the command we tell their duty time and etc so yeah so let's start it so first of all um we would have to go to rebel or something like you can use uh, glitch or any thing you want uh you need to copy the github this link and you have to start the repo like that's how that's why i'm making it uh, yeah finally so we can import it from github and it will take some time so in the meantime you can go in the server my server description and you will see the chat here and uh, you need to go to the assigned role section here and click on this developer badge here this will give you access to the code snippets etc so you have to go to the code snippets click on pinned message and the first you will see the code block here you need to just copy this and uh, paste it in the shell and hit enter and then you just uh, you don't need this you can just ignore this then there will be a dot replit file here now it will be automatically made so you do and don't have to worry about that so you just have to wait now till it install everything and stuff now after this is done you just have to fill your details and everything and like my token you have to go to discord dot dev it's developer portal you have to go to applications you have to just uh, get your bot token i'm gonna use this one i'm gonna click on bot copy and you're just gonna paste it here now if you want to like run the express server what's ex like you must be running what's the express server like it's thing uh, where you can like uh, uptime something or something like you can do for true or false that's your need after that the prefix uh, i'm gonna just keep it the default that is uh status i'm gonna see um bots users and bots and you can add watching streaming listening playing anything you want but make sure it's in lowercase letters not uppercase then the server id where we're gonna test it i'm gonna test it in my um i'm just gonna make a new channel the channel name is will be uptime logger and i'm gonna copy the server id paste it here then i'm gonna copy the channel id for this and if you want to enable the logger you just have to click true here if you want to enable the staff system you have to just click uh, to make it true if you don't want to false false and if you want to log bots then you can do true if you don't want to log bots you can do false if you want to log humans you have to do true if you don't want to log humans you have to do false simple then what are the perms that can use the command that's also pretty simple just have to do manage guild then uh, like that the perms mostly manage guild have staff so okay then we need the channel id i'm just gonna use a common channel id for now you can obviously change that so uh, we have the channel ids and filled everything so now we will just run the bot okay uh in the shell you have to do one more thing just to npm i and it will install all necessary modules we need it will take some some time but yeah okay so as you can see it's it took me like uh, two days so uh if if you just can you just like the video or something like it will support me and everything Uh, let me just clear all this yeah it's installed now let me just run it and uh, yeah uh, it was like it will like check everything you will check your token you have entered is correct or not it will check your config file like you have entered the valid data or not 
and as you can see the web server is started this is what I'm talking about this is the web server like you need to false this will be not formed so it's logged into my bot and as you can see it's online watching users and bots so now what if I put my status as oh, invisible will it log anything and I can see it logs so that's how it works and you can just ignore these warnings this is not uh, necessary so as in if I come online it will log it again so this is how the uptime logger works if you do humans false it will not log me it will only log bots but I've enabled both for testing purposes now what about the um, staff system so let me just make um, another channel called bot commands and I will run. now the first command is staff online now what will it do it will make me online and I'm on duty now so as you can see I've, I've restarted my duty now what if I run the command again like that that's most cause bugs but I've now I'm already in duty and my duty time is few seconds ago now if I wait some more time it will just change automatically because it's a new timestamp now what if I'm going on off duty and just do and just say staff offline and now and my duty time was a few seconds as you can see a few seconds and it will log that my duty has ended and my duty time you can like use it to calculate your uh, uh, staff's duty time and etc and it's a very good bot so hope you like it thank you